Hello brother and welcome back to another episode of Polar Bridge. Today I'm gonna to play the Canyon 2. And maybe something else. It's an expert level and we have a ton of pistons. Or not piston but piston faces. And only one piston. Okay. We have a piston controller, so if I can lift it up, I can build something that just smacks it to the side. <clears throat> or something. I have an idea on how to do it. And it will be <clears throat> a lot easier, I think, than most other solutions done on this level, is just my guess. Let's just get to the middle. That's not where I want it. I want it to be straight. So place it like there. Good. Okay. Hopefully we can get this to work. So we ha we'll have this thing here that will lift up the cable that much each time so I need to have all these split joints and how many faces do we want one two three four five five faces I hope that's enough Okay, so we have that, and now we have this here. So they are ones, and this thing is number two. Those things move on the sides. Then it goes up. And I did not count that correctly. That's a problem. Is, is this one full length? Yes, it is. I don't know if I have enough piston faces to get this to work. Basically. And that can definitely be problematic. Because what we need to do is to keep it up there when the piston moves down, so it locks, basically. So here it would lock together. And I don't know if it's possible, actually. Let's see how this looks. Going up. Now this one should be disabled, I think. Nope. I did not disable the right ones. That one. And now that one open. Is that correct? I think so. Not sure. Going up. Now it drops down. But the problem is that it can't drop down to the right place. So what I need to do is double them up to have some kind of bendiness in it. And I can also sh have a split joint there so I can split them if I need to. Because I might need to split them to get it to work. <clears throat> Let's see what happens if I have them as rope instead. And my throat is really, really scratchy right now. And I don't know why. 
But hopefully it will end soon. Do I have water here? Yes, I have. So here it goes down. It almost went to the right place again. Let's see if some extra strength here can help out. So now this area is reinforced. Let's reinforce the split joint thing as well. Like that. We got reinforcement. Good. And then lock on. Didn't work out how I wanted it to. I will try some off camera and see if I can get it to work. Okay, I can't seem to get it to connect properly. And with five piston faces, I can only move it up three meters or three meters, six meters with this method. So I could only get it up there. And you can clearly see that this is not higher than this. So that doesn't work. We need to do it some other way. So what could we do? We can't build a lot to do with sides. We could do something like this maybe. So we move a arm like this up and down. And it connects to new points with the piston. That will firstly move it down quite far. And that's not good. Hmm. I wonder. If I just have it straight up. Then a big arm like this wouldn't do anything. I will do stuff off camera and try out because this will take some time. So now I'm testing with like a wheel instead that moves it a lot higher up than what I did before with one move. So I think this might... I might be able to get it, this to work. So with one motion, it will move it up here. And I need to fix these things. And what I want to do... is have it locked in place. So I can get this thing here. Maybe... I'm not sure how I will get it out to the right place again. I don't think something like that will work. But first, it will... Dest get destroyed here. And... It can fall down from on top. We'll probably need to build something from the top. Something like this. And then we will have to disable this split joint in the first move, of course. And the cable breaks because it's too long or it gets moved too long. So if we move it this way, we should be fine. That should make it better. You see, it didn't break now. Good. Now we need to fix the rest. And we're almost out of budget. I don't know if we... We probably don't need the whole wheel. Let's see what happens if we delete both those, those parts. Like we might need... We would probably need... I definitely coupled that wrong. 
Like that. We will definitely need that point. Is the cable still there? I have no idea. Yes, it is. Good. We will need to lock it in place when we move the piston back. And we can do that by doing something like that, maybe. We'll just have to see where it is. Okay, it should be on that exact location. So, two... All of those should be ones. That should be a... Those should, two should be twos. It's a pretty low angle there, so it's not that strong. And uh, we should... Be able to connect this one here, now, to there. And if we disable it in this phase... I think that one. Maybe that one as well. It should still be connected. Good. Okay, so we need the cable to not drop. So probably remove that one. Ones and twos should connect. Good. Didn't. Is because it has too much swing. It could definitely be that. I will try off camera and see. Okay, so I'm changed some stuff. I moved for first this thing up a bit to increase the rotation. I added this thing here. So this will move it to the right location. You see here, right location, and now I need to fix the faces, so I can move it correctly here as well. And let me try how it works without that thing. Yeah, it worked actually. Awesome. That's really good. So I will try and fix the piston faces now, and hopefully it will work out. So that one should probably be disabled. Let's see if it fixes it. Nope, it did not. Like that, maybe? I hope I'm adding the right piston face. B? Yeah, I did not add the right piston face. It's C that I should add it. So, remove that one. Good. Nope. Awesome. Perfect. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Or not exactly, but pretty much. Okay. I don't think we need the last face. Do we need... I think we'll need to D. And nothing after that. So, just in case I disabled... Remove all. And disable the whole faces. And see what happens. It goes there. We get it over here, up to a good height. And... It drops down. And with that we have... I will look and see when I'm simulating to see how many faces I left. Because I could have a road for it to drive off of. Or... I could do a lost rotation. To get it to the right place, maybe? That could be cool. Or at least cooler than have just just having a road. So to do that, we would need that one to be active. We need to disable all of this. We would need to have that active as well, I think. Not 100% sure. 
Good. One more. And now it's... We need something to lock it. That thing, maybe? I think that's... Okay, where do we have it? Let's see if that fixes it. Okay, we have it there. Okay. Oh, the problem is we don't have anything to lock it here. Yeah. That's the problem. We don't have <laughs> the right stuff over here. It's that piece we would need. Good. Going over here. I will edit some off camera. Okay, so I am closer, at least. And now we just need to fix so the lost stuff gets released in the correct order. Let's just see what happens now. We're definitely going to release something that we don't- we shouldn't. Probably this thing and maybe something else. Yeah. Okay. So... That one should be off, I think. For the last one. Let's see if that's true or not. Damn it. I will go off camera and check it out. Okay. So I think I got it now. I paused before I finished or it stole the level. So it might have some problems in the last bit. And here we go. Yeah. Damn it. It can't touch the flag before the last stage. And it's what it's, do it's doing there. So, I need to rebuild and make like a road and stuff to make it work. So, see you there. Okay, so now I've modified it, just added this road piece here to make it work better. Or actually solve and remove some of the piston faces of like in band to get to the last rotation. So it just drives off like that. I thought my first idea was more interesting to have it like drop down from the top, but that didn't work because of how the game is programmed. So, I will have to be happy with this one. Let's go and see how other people solved it, and yeah, it was definitely an interesting level. So, Josser had a solution here that doesn't use pistons. That's cool. Bolt has one where it, use, it moves one piston face to the right height and place. He also has one here that uses just weight. I don't know how that survived the blimp. And this one moves it up and down. That's cool. Yeah, it's just maybe used a version, earlier version of a level or something, where there wasn't the blimps. Or something like that. This is really cool. 
like that one a lot. But this will be all for me today. If you like this video, like it if you want to see more, we just like this, subscribe to my channel, and thanks for watching.